Um, no, I'm legally uh, bound to say that this set has not been sponsored by Marks and Spencers. <laughs> um, I kind of wish it was, though, because I'm kind of slipping into that pair in a stage of my life. <laughs> um, <laughs> Just like, I'm stopping at side shops like Dorothy the Perkins and Wallace and just going, that's nice. <laughs> and I'm like, Susan, it's too early for this. Just slap yourself right back into Topshop. You don't belong there. <laughs> yeah, I really would like it if somebody would just come along and queer eye me. That would be great. Um, do you, are you familiar with the show, Queer Eye? Yeah. It's brilliant show, right? But if you aren't, basically it's quite a simple premise, right? All it is is it's a makeover show eh, on Netflix, right? And what happens is five stereotypical gay guys <laughs> go around just sorting out straight men's lives, right? So they'll get them like a new wardrobe and they'll like tidy up their house. Basically what straight women have been doing with their boyfriends <laughs> since the beginning of time. <laughs> <laughs> but we get called interfering cows. <laughs> five gay guys do it and they're heroes. <laughs> anyway, I want to see the opposite of that show. I kind of want to see like five stereotypical lesbians just going around telling some lassies to calm the f*** down. <laughs> <laughs> Step away from the Botox and put on a pair of sensible shoes. <laughs> But it's quite selfish of me. Uh, I just want that to happen because I don't like making any effort with my appearance at all. I love cutting about like a tramp, right? Um, I just love it. The, the worse I look, the better I feel, right? <laughs> and I had a bit of a wake-up call, though, a few weeks ago. Um, I was like, I had a low point in my appearance. What happened was I was hungover, right? So I shoved on my trampy gear and I went out to get a coffee because I had shit to do, right? I went down to the coffee shop and the barista offered me a suspended coffee. <laughs> and you're laughing because you know what that is, right? <laughs> I didn't know what it was either, right? I didn't know what it was. I was just like, what's that? Is that like a flat white or a frappuccino? <laughs> just one of these newfangled coffees the kids are drinking. And he was like, no, that's just coffees that other customers buy for homeless people. <laughs> oh. So I took it. <laughs> Regular now, because times are tough, you know. 